Wouldn't it be nice if your AI agents could actually learn and improve over time without you constantly having to tweak their system instructions in N8N? In this video, I'm going to show you how I built a self-improving AI agent inside of N8N, complete with feedback loops, version control, and human-in-the-loop approvals so it gets smarter every time it interacts. And the best part is you can plug it into any existing AI agent workflow in N8N. So if you're into saving time and making money with AI and automations, hit the like button, hit subscribe, and let's dive in. So I'm going to walk you through a self-learning agent that I built for our AI voice agent that we use at my nine to five. So every so often the owner wants to change how this agent handles the calls that come in through our AI voice agent, like not sending him text messages while he's on vacation or tweaking how objections are handled. So instead of manually editing the agent system instructions in N8N every single time, I built a feedback loop that allows us to make suggestions using natural language right in Airtable. So it has human in the loop and version control and a checkbox to make sure that only one version of the system instructions is being used at any given time. And this setup makes it dead simple to improve agent behavior without breaking anything and allows us to keep iterating without causing chaos because we have a previous version that we can roll back to. So this is the workflow where we have the self-learning agent hooked up to. And so the way it works is instead of the agent's instructions, living right here with the system message. This is getting pulled from Airtable. And if I come over here to my Airtable database, this is where the system message actually lives. So here's the full system message for the agent and how it's supposed to handle calls. Because basically the purpose of this agent is to route calls appropriately. So our AI voice agent takes the call and then this agent routes it to whoever needs to take action or if it needs to deliver a message, an email, that kind of thing. And so if you were setting this up for yourself or a business that you're working with, Basically, what you would need to do is create a new table in Airtable. Then you're going to have a name, and that's going to be for the version. So that can just be single line text. Then you're going to have the system message, which is going to be long text. And that's where you're going to put your system instructions for the AI agent that you want to learn and improve over time. You're also going to add a long text field for rationale. And this is where the agent is going to provide its rationale so that you can spot check or double check the agent's you know, way of thinking as it goes about improving the system instructions. Then it has a timestamp for when the system instructions were last modified. And then if I right click to open this automations here at the top, so I have it set up to send an email whenever a new record is created, because when a new record is created, that means that the agent is proposing new system instructions based on human feedback. And so this automation takes place right from Airtable, but when that new system instruction is created, it sends an email and says, hey, check out the new system instructions and approve them. And if they are approved, then all I do is unclick this box and click this one, and that's the system instructions that are gonna be used going forward by this agent. So to add this to an existing agent, all you would need to do is add a search records node for Airtable. So this is looking up my AI agent system message. And what it's looking for is this checkbox to be active one, and it's only going to pull in the active instructions. And then the system message down here gets dynamically mapped with the output from that previous node. So this is the system message, which comes directly from our Airtable base. So that comes right from here. And this is the one marked active. So that's the one it's going to pull in. Now I'm going to show you how to actually build the self-learning agent. And it's pretty simple, honestly. But the most important thing about it is the system instructions. Okay, so I double clicked in the agent and basically the prompt I give it is the existing system message and that's just pulled directly from Airtable. And then right now I just have test feedback in here, but the human feedback would also get mapped as well. Okay, and then if we open up the system instructions for the self-learning agent, these this is its objective. So you are a self-learning AI agent tasked with improving the performance of other AI agents by updating and refining their system instructions based on human feedback. You receive feedback in natural language form via Airtable and have access to the current system instructions of the AI agent you're evaluating. 
Your goal is to accurately interpret human feedback, identify issues, and modify the agent's instructions accordingly to enhance clarity, accuracy, and effectiveness. And I'm going to include these system instructions that are pretty darn solid if you want to get a hold of them and modify them for your own use case. But basically what this agent is able to do is once it crafts new system instructions based on the human feedback, is it's going to come in and create a record in Airtable, and it's going to give it a name. So if it's creating a new version, it's going to call it version two and create a new record. Or if it's version three, it's going to create a new record called version three and so on and so forth. So that way you always have the previous version system instructions. So if something breaks or if something goes haywire, you can always roll back to the previous version that was still working. Okay, so let's go ahead and build this self-learning agent. So the first thing we need is an Airtable trigger. Okay, on a new Airtable event, and I'm just gonna leave it on every minute for now. Honestly, you can get away with doing it every hour because it's probably not super frequent that you're gonna need to update these instructions, but it depends on the call volume for the business that you're dealing with. So I grab the base ID and the table ID from this inbound calls table. And this is where the human feedback is taking place, which is why I grabbed those IDs. Okay, and now we wanna add, we wanna make sure that we have this last modified time because that's going to be the trigger field. And then lastly, we only wanna pull in records where there's actually human feedback. So if it's blank, we don't wanna pull that in. And that's what that formula says. Okay, so that test event brought in a record with the test feedback. And so now what we want to do is add an Airtable search records node, and I'm going to connect it to the correct base and the correct table. So I want to connect it to the AI system message table. And I don't want to return all records. I just want to return one. And if I come back over here to my AI agent system message table, I only want to pull in the most recent or the active version. And so I can just do curly brackets, active, which is the field name in Airtable, and then close it with another curly bracket. And then we'll test that step. Okay, so you can see active equals true. So we got the correct one. And now we're going to add the actual AI agent node. And so now it's going to be able to compare the human feedback from this trigger with the current version of the system instructions here, and then make any necessary adjustments. Okay, so we're going to add a node for AI agent. I'm going to define below. Basically, the prompt is going to say existing system instructions and then have the human feedback. And then we can just drag the existing system message over and then add the human feedback from the Airtable trigger node. So if I scroll down here, it's the one called human feedback and I'll just drop that in. Okay, so that takes care of our prompt. Now we also need to add a system message. And so I'm going to add the very robust system instructions that I've crafted. And again, if you wanna get a hold of these, you can click the link down in the description that has all the assets for this build. But this is really the important part. Like this is the juicy stuff that makes this agent run. Okay, and then I'm gonna connect it to GPT-40. And then the last step is I just need to give it access to a tool that lets it create a record in Airtable. Because remember, it's going to be creating a brand new row and that's gonna be version two of the system instructions that it's just improved upon. So I'm gonna add a tool here and it's gonna be Airtable and the operation needs to be create. So I'm gonna select the appropriate base and table, which is my AI agent system message table. Okay, and now the name is just the version name. So I'm gonna let the model define that because I've already told it explicitly in its system instructions that it needs to iterate, go from version one, version two, version three, and so on. I'm also going to let it define the system message because that's its job. It's going to be creating that new system message based on the prompt, which is comprised of the human feedback and the existing system instructions, and then also its system instructions. So this is very meta, but basically it's gonna take all the input that it's getting and its system instructions, and then it's gonna craft that new system message for the agent that it's helping to improve. And then I'm also gonna let it define its rationale. And I'm just gonna delete this active column because we don't want it to mark something as active or inactive, that's the human's job. Okay, so everything is all set for it. And so what I wanna do is just test this so you can see how it works in real time. So right now it's pulling in the system instructions that live in Airtable, 
what I want to do is give it some real human feedback because right now, if you look at the human feedback that is mapped, it just says test feedback here at the bottom. So I want to give it some actual feedback to see how it is going to iterate on the system instruction. Okay, so I'm changing the human feedback to the following. So when sending confirmation SMS messages for booked appointments, please make sure to include in the message that if they need to reschedule, they can do so by calling our office at 559-555-1234. So Let's say that you've had people and they're not showing up for the appointments or, you know, they're forgetting or they wanted to reschedule, but, you know, whatever the case is. So we're going to include this so that in every confirmation text message that a customer receives, they have access to the office phone number. So if they need to call and cancel or call and reschedule, then that's included in that text message that's confirming their appointment. Okay, so now let's test it with that mock human feedback. Okay, so the node was executed successfully. We can see the output here. And if we come over to our Airtable database that shows the AI agent system message, we can see that a new version, version two was created. And then we can see the brand new set of instructions here. And if we scroll down, we can see that the confirmation email and the confirmation SMS include the language about if you need to make changes to your appointment, please call us at this number. Now, if we take a look at the agent's rationale for creating these changes. So the confirmation SMS message for booked appointments was updated to include an explicit instruction for callers that they can reschedule appointments by calling this number. This change was made in response to human feedback requesting this addition to enhance the clarity and usefulness of the communication. So after the human reviews that and says, yep, that looks fantastic. It looks like a change has been made. Then they can check that box active, uncheck the old one, and there's our human in the loop. So to recap, the human gives feedback on the agent performance, then the suggested edits come in here to the system message table, and I get an automated email that tells me, hey, check out these new system instructions and approve them. So I read over them, I click them to active, and all of the versions are controlled here in Airtable. So if we ever need to roll back to a previous version, we can easily do so. No one wants to have to babysit these agents. We want to be able to just make a quick tweak in natural language and have it taken care of for us. And so this helps keep you or the client that you're building for in control without them having to have a ton of technical knowledge or be messing around with NA then. And this is honestly a huge selling point for businesses because it allows them to have control, be able to tweak their agents, and it's gonna save them money over time. So if this video gave you some ideas on how to scale smarter AI agents, hit the like button and subscribe. If you want access to the full course on how to build agents using N8N, click the first link down in the description and join the AI Foundations community. And if you're new to my channel and you want to get up to speed as quickly as possible, click the playlist on your screen. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.